Hello everyone, my name is Megan Lavoda and I offer wisdom, tools, and support for personality integration. And today I'm going to be giving a love letter to the ISTP personality type. So I'm doing this series where I'm giving a love letter to all of the personality types, but ISTPs in particular, I feel like does not get enough love in the personality community. And what better person to give a love letter to the ISTP than an ENFJ like myself? Because if you did not know, if you are new to type and perhaps you didn't put these two and two together, ENFJs share the same cognitive function stack as the ISTP, but reversed. So in many ways, my relationship to ISTPs can feel almost like an opposites attract sort of thing. So there are some cases in which I might not get along with an ISTP or they might not really like me. There could definitely be some dissonance there because of the opposites. But whenever we do learn to appreciate each other, the relationship that I have with ISTPs is like no other. It is a very special type of relationship where I feel like I can learn from ISTPs more than any other type. And that is just me personally as an ENFJ. So let me tell you a little bit about what I like about ISTPs. And also I might throw in some of my own experience uh, with ISTPs too, because as I mentioned, ISTPs are one of my favorite types. Um, my favorite type or one of my favorite types can tend to change depending on my mood and depending on whether or not I have had like good experiences with the type recently. But I would say in general, I've never had a problem with an ISTP. So that just the fact that I don't think I've ever met an ISTP that I disliked that is going to bias me a little bit because with most types, they, with most types, it's easy to see like the weakness and like what can sort of annoy me about them. And the worst thing I could say about ISTPs is that sometimes they're boring, which honestly is not even really that bad, <laughs> like in my opinion because bo being boring is subjective and are they really boring or do I just not know them? Every time I get to know an ISTP, it you could tell that they have a lot of opinions on things that they take very seriously. And as an ENFJ, I am working towards stabilizing my own opinions on things, stabilizing my own identity, and I, want to find the truth. So with ISTPs, when they, they might look boring at first, you, they might look unassuming, but then if you talk to them and it's like, holy shit, they have the answer to my problem. Like they've been over here thinking, not engaging with the tribe or really talking with anyone. You might not see how interesting their thoughts are because they aren't like pushing it on you. But then, like, if I use my FE as I do as an ENFJ and I just discuss my problem or just um, trying to, you know, bond with people, talk about things, the ISTP is typically the one that's going to, like, actually have thought about the problem before and have a potential solution for you. I've found, too, that when it comes to venting whenever I vent to different types. It's it's the ISTP that actually has something to say to it that gives me a new perspective that actually helps me. Where I've noticed that, so for example, as an ENFJ, I love talking to my NF friends when, about my emotional issues because they aren't ever gonna judge me for my emotions because they can hold space for those emotions. But the problem is when I'm talking to my NF friends about an emotional issue, sometimes it could just lead to too much time talking about the problem, too much emotional validation, and we don't really go anywhere with solving the problem. Whereas when I talk to other thinker types, um, they might offer a solution that feels disconnected with me, 
um, that doesn't really seem to even fit my problem. Or that it seems like they don't get my problem, or they don't get me, or what. But like for whatever reason, whenever ISTPs uh, give a potential solution to a problem, it tends to fit. And part of that is because of who I am as an ENFJ, but part of it also is that for an ISTP, TI and SE, it wants to, well for one, they're using SE, so they're looking at you like at the reality. They're taking you for who you are and they are not making any assumptions about that. They are not projecting their past experience onto you. They really are taking you as a new, as your own person, as who you are. It's funny, I was talking to an ISTP a few months ago and I said something like, oh, well, I hope you didn't assume this and this about me. And he said something like, I don't assume anything about anyone, lol. And I, that was a breath of fresh air because a lot of people assume things all the time. And I'm not saying that like an ISTP will never assume ever, but like even in their um, assumptions, they, it's so easy to change <laughs> their mind. Like you might find that weird if you, like you might see how stubborn an ISTP is whenever they know what they think, but honestly, just give them some other information. Chances are they aren't gonna judge you for thinking differently. They're gonna like hold space for your different opinion and not pick a fight about it, but also they aren't, uh, they're like willing to take in the more information to refine what they're saying. And because they don't use NE, they really are looking at the reality of you and not, you know, their own interpretation or pattern of what they think you represent. Where contrary to INTPs, I really do enjoy INTPs as well, but the way that I uh, see the differences between these two is that INTPs, they have this problem where they can sort of get wrapped up in their idea of what they think something is based on their intuition which not that that's wrong but when you're comparing the ISTP and the INTP the INTP is much more likely to sort of view you as a symbol and kind of place you in an intuitive category based on a few details whereas the ISTP is in my experience okay with the unknown okay with not knowing and just allows the SE, the, it's like they see you as like this faded, like they when they first meet you, it's like you're faded in the background. They don't wanna assume anything about you. They don't know you and they don't claim to. They, they don't claim to like analyze you instantly the way ITPs can. They allow the real you to come to surface as you show yourself in the SE. And to me, that is very refreshing because I really hate when people assume things about me. I hate when people try and pick apart what I say and, uh, you know, make some theory around it. And when I talk to ISTPs, they react directly to the words that I said and they take me exactly as who I am. And that's it. Like, they don't need to know anything else. They are comfortable with going out into uh, reality and doing some trial and error and see for, seeing for themselves. They don't need to have everything figured out like right away. Their TI is probably going to figure out some things either about you or maybe not about you at all. Maybe just about their favorite subject or whatever it is. Um, but the process seems a little, like it's not slower, but Maybe I'm just realizing that it's, you know, slower to notice the intuition. Whereas INTPs are slower to like see the reality, but both the INTP and ISTP, they have their strengths and weaknesses. And what they have in common is that dominant introverted thinking, which I really, I really, really enjoy because I'm always trying to um, refine my opinions and be open for criticism, whereas ISTPs, they 
whenever they try and re they ask really good questions and they try and help you refine what you think in a way that again is not assumptive um they will ask questions ba like to try and provoke you like in the se to refine what you think or maybe even share things of their own opinions that provokes others to get clearer about what they think but they are fiercely independent and they don't they aren't gonna like they aren't the type to like spar with you over something small and try and get you to think or believe what they believe that can happen but chances are with the ISTP they are introverted they aren't gonna want to just waste their energy on everyone all the time and they would so much rather just respect that you are your own individual who is coming up to coming up to their own conclusions on their own and you're on your own journey and so you do you like and so I feel like despite ICPs being the TI dominant people I feel so unjudged by them and I know some of you guys might be like well what they're so judgmental they are but they also are like they don't have that SI thing going on the way that INTPs do where they can think that there's like this one sensory reality of how things are when ISTPs are listening to you and looking at the world they're trying to they they use SE first but after that their NI comes in their tertiary NI where they can notice the key concepts and whatever they it's usually through their experience and through their experimentation either with people or with science or with whatever they're testing um they use that experience to then really understand these concepts very deeply with their ni and they when they put their mind to it and when they become an expert in something they're really great like archetypal sort of thinkers with that ni that can be used to support the introverted thinking inquisitive uh, inquisitiveness i guess um I'm not trying to like bash INTPs by comparison because I'll just say INTPs can notice patterns like way quicker than um, ISTPs. INTPs can read between the lines way quicker. But the thing is, is that INTPs, if you are looking for patterns so quickly, there's going to be outliers to the pattern. And you definitely have the potential to do harm if you're an INTP to the FE tribe if you are reacting to an outlier or if your pattern is not quite right whereas the ISTP is a lot slower to notice those patterns but is very very unlikely to accidentally lump someone in the wrong pattern so they might be slower in that way but ISTPs are also quicker to gain experience that supports their introverted thinking whereas INTPs will are the type to think about something all day but not really go out in the reality and test to see if it matches that's one thing that I really admire about ISTPs is that they're thinking it's not it's more than just an idea it's validated by reality itself they um istps respect reality as a teacher and they see life as a journey um and it's they have this really clear sense of self and they they do have that inferior fe so they want to engage with people around them and society but they don't want to do that at the ex at the expense of their principles and their truth and so they also are the first to stand up and say hey this isn't right this isn't true and they're the one of the first to give constructive criticism because 
they believe, they tend to believe that all of us as a society should be um, yearning for the truth and we all should be improving our logic. And the thing is, is that when you, when it comes to ISTPs, what they're interested in really matters when it comes to looking at what their outside personality seems like. Because I, I've i noticed that they can kind of be a chameleon or they can seem that way. I know that sounds a little contradictory to being like that strong individual, but it really depends on what industry they work in or what culture they are from or anything like that because I know some ISTPs that are really into sports and that's what they um, apply their TI to is how to excel in sports. Whereas others happen to be entrepreneurs and they are really focused on how to um, do that. Um, and some, you know, are into, like I've even met an ISTP astrologer so that can, that really understands the system of astrology. You might think that astrology is too NF, but for an ISTP, whatever it is, whatever system they want to learn, they learn it fully by experiencing it. So, um, no, no ISTP is going to look exactly the same as another ISTP. And I think that that's kind of true for all of the IP types who are the strong individuals over, they, they really prioritize themselves as an individual over the tribe. So whether they're a TI dominant person or an FI dominant person, there's going to be something in some way, shape or form that is completely their own. When you meet them, they are going to seem completely individual. Um, so, but you know, the things that all ISTPs have in common is sort of the, the fact that they, that TI is always going like with whatever it is that they're doing and they are open to new experiences. They are not, um, the type of introverts that are going to be cooped up inside and be okay with that. They want to do things. They tend to like to travel. They like to go try new foods. They like to make sure they go outside, go for a walk. They tend to be very active and they're, it's like, so they're the type of introverts that you might even think that they're extroverts because they're everywhere. They might know a lot of people. They might be at lots of different networking events or lots of different parties, but they're also the guy, uh, the sort of person that's in the corner that doesn't necessarily need to feel, they don't feel the pressure to fill the space the way that I do as an ENFJ. They just observe and the way that they observe reality and the fact that they're willing to put themselves in new situations and change and transform so often, which by the way is contrary to the INTP who has poor extroverted sensing that is not as focused on transforming themselves, which by the way, like INTPs, they tend to be the sort of stubborn individuals that not all of them are gonna be this way, but INTPs are one of the types that are more likely to be afraid of change because they want to be themselves so badly that they might not really understand the role of self growth and change as much as a ISTP who is going to put themselves in new sensory experiences that are intentionally there to stretch themselves and transform. So whereas, you know, INTPs, they don't need to go out there and stretch themselves and change their environments as much because they can do a lot of pattern pattern recognition from home, honestly. They can come to like really great conclusions without having to do that. And so again, they're just two different types, but I really wanna highlight the strengths of the ISTP by comparing because ISTPs, you might, their insight comes from their ability to stretch themselves in ways that other types don't really, don't really do. So, Thank you guys. If you're an ISTP, please let me know if this video um, fit you or if there's anything that you would critique. Um, let me know what type I should do next. Um, I am going to do all of these 16 types and I offer um, mentorship services and uh, personality type services as well. 
Um, I have a Patreon. There's lots of fun links below. Subscribe if you're new. I think that's all my general housekeeping. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.